let's go into variables. So you might be familiar with variables from mathematics. Uh, so it simply stores a value in the, in the computer memory. So we could have a variable, let's say x equals 3 or y equals 5. Or you could have like a more expressive term. You, so you could say um, number of, um, of apples is 3 or whatever variable name you want. So you can be very specific uh, also, so you're not limited to a single character name. Um, so Golang supports uh, several variable types. So they have the integer, which is like a natural number. Uh, so 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and so on. It's called an integer. And they're only limited to the, to the size in the computer. So of course the computer cannot store unlimited numbers. So it's, it has like a maximum number. And then you have a, a data type called a floating point. Uh, so sometimes you might need to store 1.5 or 2.34 or you know broken numbers so any thing between in 1 to 10 or 1 to 100 like all of the, the numbers between 0 0.3 0 0.4 and so on so this is what a floating point is used for and finally you have like the the computer type known as a byte so a byte is uh, is a number between 0 and 256 and uh, it's simply a binary number so it, it's a number contain consisting of eight uh, of eight bits, so uh, one or zero, and yeah, that's really a computer term. So let's go into uh, a practical example. So we're going to have a we're going to define a number x of the type int. Um, so okay, let's add that. Um, and we'll set the, the number and we're going to simply output it to the screen so let's type go run our program name and we'll see that the variable x is outputted to the screen so you can type any variable number obviously so 200 uh, let's pick 200 and you can run it and it's 200 so you can have several variables in here, so let's add another one. If you run it, we have two variables that are printed to the screen. Um, obviously we can also have floating point numbers as we've described before. So these are all whole numbers. Um, but you might need uh, a, a number with a comma. So Let's define that. And output that. So you'll see that it's not a whole number. If we run it, 2.827. And uh, we can also like um, define uh, um, strings so text so to simply define text so let's say my name oh, it's a reserved word sorry uh, let's say uh, student name equals Frank or whatever your name is and type print that number so this is a string simply a text you can output text to the screen as well so there you go and we also have um, uh, bytes so you can define a byte um, let's say uh, byte b which is a very simple name and the byte is a number between 0 and 256 so so it's always used in computing and if you're not un if you're unfamiliar with it just remember it's a number between 0 and 256 so let's pick any number and output it there you go 